The mysterious handmaiden Mimi dis disappeared in a bizarre explosion. What exactly was her plan? And why did she try to enslave Mario and friends? After the incident, Princess Peach noticed stairs going down. Here we go, she said, as my as my Wii Mood has communications has been interrupted. Oh no, not your Wii Mode. I wonder if Mil Merle is down here. Uh, fought our heroes as they trade down, trade worried glances. The two solemnly made their way down, knowing there was no other path to follow. Chapter 2 4 The Basement Face Off. I expect some, some giant faces now, okay? <laughs> hey, my name is Zing Hitchell, and welcome back to. Super uh, what is this game again? I forgot. Super Paper Mario. <laughs> oh, Paper Super Mario. I got it. <laughs> um, this is basically is uh, last time we um we enjoyed labor as I did not do in no squat and basically steal uh, Mimi's uh Mimi's uh, storage and gave it back to her. <laughs> no. And. We also saw her explode into pieces. <laughs> this game is supposed to be... I remember that. Yeah. Um, the pure heart is near. I feel it's very so much more stronger down here. Ah, uh, hooray! Whoopee! Thanks for looking to look for me. Beautiful, mysterious Merle, mistress of the house. It's me. So glad it's you I see. So long, I've waited for you. Your arrival is well past due. But, we can't meet like this. Oh no, for something's amiss. An evil one is after me. And, safe and sound, I cannot be. In the basement do I dwell. Maze like rooms are my cell. You will find me, I can tell. And, if you do, take care, for your eyes may err. Trust. Nothing foul or fair. No, I cannot last. My power is fading fast. The distance is too vast. Are you ready to fight me? Beware, if you do, I plea. And there's Dot. <laughs> She's gone. Must not Apparition, William Lee. Why do you suppose she was telling us to be careful when we find her here? So, welcome to Merle's basement. Well, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, I, mean, uh, I know how your basement is because you always lock me up there for your last place, but. Yeah. So, nothing much but. I got! Okay, there we go. That was the cursed mushroom appearing. Not really fun, that we actually have to deal with cursed mushrooms of all things. Also, oh, oh, there's an interesting enemy, this is the Mr. I. I wonder what you need to do on him. Hey, get it? He said I. Yeah, it's Mr. I. Okay, there you go. And yeah, it dies by simply you spinning around in circles. Uh, okay, I it's need... It's not a reference to another great Mario game. Yeah. Uh, I need Peach. I need to Peach to uh, help because Peach is the platformer, and I didn't press two. Well, ain't that just Peach? Okay. Um, that joke was already used in Mario Odyssey. Even swearing is in that game. There's swearing in Odyssey? Yeah, it says, "Oh fuck, not this again." Yeah, and it's also also censored too. Oh fuck, what really? Yeah, it was actually censored since I watched the cutscenes because I have no shame. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I watched the cutscene and there was swearing in this game and people were like, Oh my god, I'm googling it. Yeah. And, and now for something extremely gruesome, which is actually the most famous thing in this entire game. Ah yes, how very nice. Thank you for coming. Thank you twice. Run! Mysterious and so lovely, mistress of the house, you see, it's me, Merle. I shine on like the brightest star, calling to you from miles afar. And I knew that soon I'd see you buzz on by, little bees. <laughs> 
That's not a rhyme. Yeah, but he see. <laughs> We've come seeking the pure hearts. Oh yes, of course, I know the pure hearts for Mario and Co. For you, yes, I'll gladly part with that purest pure hearts. Hmm. But there is a wee fee. Yes, yes, ten million rubies. Quite a bargain, you agree? Get what they're referencing? The rubies? <sighs> so folks, if you be dear, sign this dotted line here, and it's yours, free and clear. No! If you lack the rubies now, a smaller loan I could allow, you can work it off somehow. Just sign here, my dear. No! No, please, no rhymes. Okay, here's what we'll do. I have got a deal for you. Sign up for a load and boom, a free gift away with gloom. A super mega ultra soon. Just sign here, my dear. No! <sighs> you fine, you bargain hard. I'll always throw in a bread, I also throw a bread word. A pixel made of oats and lords. Isn't that so nice of me? I'm the best, don't you see? Here, dear, sign and cheer. No! Yeah! Idiots, the lot, the lot of you. Turning down such a coup. None of you have a clue. Here it is, your last shot. Sign right now, on the dot. No! no. I refuse. Good choice for my sake, this Merlee's a total fake. Listen not, she's a snake. Me 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 No point in trying to fool anyone now. Gee looky here, the girl you thought was a handmaid or a Merly imposter. She's actually the faithful servant of Count Black, master impersonator. Mimi. Golly, I was hoping we could sell this peacefully, but too bad. Oh, you want to make things ugly, huh? Well, that's super! Let's get ugly! Well, you don't need to make things ugly because she's already very ugly. True Mimi come forth. Okay, I want you to listen closely to the sound effects and what she's doing. I remember this. Yeah, that's exactly what just happened. I think I just shit my pants. Yeah, in case you want to know what she just did, because if the sound effect was not an indication, she broke her neck in order and then spin her head down in circles to burst into a spider. Yeah. Which is totally not creepy at all. Yeah, and many people. Oh. <laughs> yeah, why would she break her neck in order to transform into a spider? In fact, you can actually see her. Um, her um, okay. her body just uh, limping along with just one uh, part of her bone sticking to her head, and part of her hair is sticking to her leg too. Me 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 me. Yuck! Everyone's reaction. <laughs> mm. Please, my friends, beware! A barrier protects her there. In fact, it's everywhere. I think attacks may well be useless against such as she. Attacks don't work? Ugh. What should we do? Me, 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 me! I must suggest you flee. Come and find the real me. I am hiding. Look and see. If you can find, my magic rule may weaken her and win the day. Hurry, hurry, don't delay! Mimi! So this is her true form? <laughs> She'll come after you if you stay too long in any room, and our attacks don't work, so we should keep moving. In fact, if you stay to end, yeah, she constantly uh, sends out these rubies after you. Um, in fact, interesting thing about her, she chases you down. If you go into another room, wait for it. Let's wait for it. Uh, no, don't wait for it. Yeah, ah! she appears, and she says me, 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 every single time you appear, when she appears. I know the loca location of um, 
from where she is, and also this is a jerkish enemy. That's a curse, yeah. Get the joke, curse, yeah. This this spiteful evil monster causes curses every everything it touches. Max speed is one, attack is one. This curse just curse slows you down temporarily. You should throw something at it or use an item. Jumping on it will be a bad idea. Jump on him. No. Damn it. Oh uh, no, I didn't probably. Yep, I screwed up. Like this, that this one is said last. Oh, she's here. Yeah, that me, 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 that's actually, and also the music also isn't helping. <laughs> yeah, and there's a, an ice gerbil, which basically is basically a gerbil with ice. Um, also, do you get the joke with gerbil? And there she is. Um, in case you know, don't know what it is, it's that he's a bust. No joke. Nice accuracy! <laughs> uh, new enemy! <laughs> So many Another new one. That's a Bashful Spectre, is a boo. It's very fond of dark places. Max speech 4 and attack is 1. It will disappear if you stare at it too long. But it will reappear and chase after you the moment you turn your back on it. To outfox it, let it approach you, reach back and use an attack or an item on it. Yeah, that's basically the, the basic thing about everything I'm learning here. It boos. Just the boo boo. Mm -hmm. And she's back. <laughs> Me, 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 me. Oh, now with these uh, amazing guys, which uh, die by exploding from the um, downside. And I'm pretty sure. Uh, yep, yeah, there she is again. Uh, me, 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 me. There she is again. I need to go to the. I am not joking. I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's very. Okay, new enemy. <laughs> It's a mini it's boss, a actually. Boo. An atomic boo. That is one enormous boo. Max P is 10, attack is 2. It will follow you around until you just disappear. Yeah, 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 we know. It has a little bit of putting you back on it. It's the mass of all boos, yeah. And I also need to do. And also. Because of Mimi, it's not easy to deal with him. It is easy to deal with him. Just do that. Yeah, yeah but. Just walk around him. Yeah, and I'm not going to deal with him because Mimi! <laughs> okay! Um, here we are. In case you don't know what's the deal with this, um, there's a, there's a, there's a, uh, guy's bathroom, and this actually is safe haven, don't, no joke here. If you go into the, in the middle's bathroom, she will never go in there because of her, uh, pride. Stop writing gravity, you stop, no, you stop! <laughs> there's a joke, simply a simple joke, inside joke here, mm, like the semis. I said you would never go to the woman to the, the mills bathroom, you jerk. She went to the mills bathroom? Yeah, she went. Wow, well, your theory has been disproven. Now it's actually more like information I think we're finding out. I guess it's just you don't want to go to the to the mills bathroom because she's a bitch. Wow. You really don't like me, do you? No, it's because she constantly falls out and panic and just panic inducing. Um yeah, you need to go into the woman's bathroom because logic. <laughs> yeah, she was hiding in the toilet. <laughs> Just like I do when I see you. <laughs> Find me the real Merle. I shine on like the brightest star, calling to you from miles afar. I don't buy it. The real Mali, truly, in a place like this? I'm afraid that Mimi Fig was too robust, and I too weak. The pure heart I quickly took and hid where she would never look, in the bathroom. But now you're here, hooray! This bad tide will turn her today. Soon that awful Mimi pays. You and I can now join up to teach that tiny bratty papa lesson. Now, let's power up. I, I, am, I, am I recording? Is that uh, timer since uh, so rolling actually? Because I'm. Uh, yeah, it's still rolling, it's still rolling. Sorry, I'm was kind of. I can, can it's, it's 14 minutes now. Thank you. Oh, I don't think so. I think so. Mimi! Me 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 me
is so funny. <laughs> Stop pretending to be me. Everyone knows you are me, me. Come on, friends, attack. We can drive her back. What is this that you talk about? You're the faker and allowed. Don't be fooled by her act. Get her now, now. Attack. It's me, the real Merle. No, it's me, the true Merle. Look at this very closely. One of us has real beauty, and one is fake as can be. Oh, please, you can, you make me gag. I am hot, and no need to brag, and you, well, you're a hag. <laughs> what a, very nice. What a fit maker, you're such a fake faker. Oh, now, come off it, dear. You're a dog from eye to ear, and your breath reeks, I fear. Big pig, chow cow. Yeah, cat fight. I like cat fights. Yeah, this is not going to be sell on advice, my friend. This is going nowhere, see? Let's sell them picker really and sell it, do you agree? Sound like a good thought, cause I'm the real me, hot, and you're really honest, not! <laughs> oh, how much do you amuse? You're a fake, you will lose. <laughs> you're a fake, you stupid fake. We all know you're the snake. It's on, con! Game show in the bathroom! It's... <laughs> yeah, apparently even this game is dark, it still has some cheesy humor in it. Let me do the announcer, please. Okay, sure. It's the 66 annual That's My Marty Show! How are all you folks doing? Let's get going. You're gonna ask these two Marlies a total of five questions. And listen closely to those answers, because at the end, you gotta pick the real one. The spider doesn't need to, because there's actually a very obvious hint. <laughs> oh, and that's it all. Pick wrong, and you could be some this, and there could be some disastrous results. Now, for our first question. Okay, let's see. Yeah, these are actually very funny. Let's uh, start out... What's the best smell? Let's start with that. Hmm, this one is sort of the vegan part. What is your favorite smell? Fresh air, I swear. All cheese, yes please. You. Ooh, very interesting. Now, for the next question. Uh, let's see. Um, what do you want most? What do you... What a great question. What do you want most right now? Crystal ball, the newest kind. Nice ones are hard to find. I want a boyfriend, please. I love a guy to squeeze. Oh, indeed, indeed. Time for another cool question. Uh, what guy is your type? <laughs> We'd all like to know the next one, am I right, fellas? Drum roll, please. What kind of guy is your favorite type? <laughs> I love them all, see? Nope, no type for me. Oh, how can I share when the guy is right there? We're talking about Mario. Well, what do you know? Next question, please. What's your best feature? Now, here's one for the ages. What is your best feature? The lobes of my perfect ears, they got the vogue by my peers to be lobes of the fear. Well, that would have to be my aversion personality. People seem to love it, see? Now it's time for a final question, folks. Excitement! Well, will be. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, simple. What do you wash first? Yes, I, I was waiting for that one all along. 
Ooh, ooh, this quest is a little risque, folks. What is the first thing you wash in the bathtub? Now that you should care, but I wash the bangs of my hair. I start with the thermal, then the faucet, hot and cold. Well, folks, that was all five questions. So, which one is the real Marley? Search your mind, let's have a guess. Isn't it obvious which one is the real one? It's the one with the fly, because she was hidden in the bathroom. Are you sure about that? Think good and hard, folks. Well, enough suspense. Let's see who you picked is the real Marley. A fateful moment, folks. I'm on the edge of my non-existent seat. Ding! Right! <laughs> well, of course! Obviously! Nobody could copy me! Stupid hats! I mimicked her perfectly! You know it! I guess I'll congratulate you. But by tearing you into a little bits like stupid confetti. And guess what she's going to do? She's going to break your neck again. Snap and those eyes are so creepy. Ah, I love them. Yeah, why do we have to settle for this cutscene, this transformation, transformation sequence again? Because you know how much, how much Mario likes to torture us. Yeah. Especially me. I will cheer from over here. Ra ra, rouge bing ba, hit her in the knee if she has one, does she? <laughs> She's the first one, isn't she? Oh god, what about whatever. I'll finish you off first. Me, 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 me. Huge speech for this. This is the final battle. Because of her cheers, oh, me, me, Merle. Um, now she has, uh, she's now weak. That's Mimi. She's a slightly childish shape shift that works for Count Black. Childish. Why? Childish. Why is children the most impactful? Max speed is unknown, the attack is one, just go for her head when you attack. She will briefly stop you when she gets hit, that is when you should go on the attack. She might also hang from the ceiling and throw rubies at you. Okay, um, like she said before, like um, Tiki says, yes, you need to no wrong pixel, you need to throw for this. Also, Peach is the ideal um, character for this fight. You can basically, uh, is she broke this fight, okay? Because not only is uh, the perfect jumper, she's... Yeah, yeah. But what? Why can you damage me? I'm supposed to be all invincible. Invincible! Count Black Power was supposed to protect me. Ra ra ra, Rouge Bing Ba! You can hit her, dear, for this is no normal cheer. This cheer is magic, Wu. Her magic barrier is through. What? When did this happen? Eek! I feel completely naked. How could you? She's not... Uh, I don't want to see her naked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you can see... Yeah. <clears throat> Mimi, Mimi, shut. Merely shut up. Mimi, don't. Just... Cha, cha, cha. <laughs> and now for something completely illogical. Yes, yes. Our team's best. Go team! <laughs> She's now walking on one... It, one leg, and that is a one dangerous thing. Also, because of Peach's parasol, she yeah, you get able to block that with Peach's parasol. Me me me. Uh, uh, but but how could you? It's impossible. How? Uh, uh, don't think you beating me for good, dummies. Next time you won't be so lucky. Remember that, stupid hats. Urgh! 
that's um, so. I, I find when a child is psychotic a little bit creepy. The most creepy character. Yeah. Fine job on that Mimi, yes. The pure heart safe, evil repressed. You know, the tenants here guarded it for 1,500 years. Wait for you to draw near. Finally, that duty is done, and I'm an ecstatic for one. But wait, here we finish up. I must tell you something. Yup! What is it? So, the light prognosticus was read, read by you, yes? And it was written there that I and my ancestor waited by the pure heart, staying spry. But something wasn't written there, and of it you must be aware. There is another prophecy, a heart of chaos can only be beaten by four of mystery. Four heroes unite, their hope burns forth light to shadow the walls of light. That is how despair it dies. Such is what we prophesize here in the home of the wise. Four heroes. I am sure the pair of you, Mario and Peach, you too, are the first heroes true. So then, it falls to you to find the other heroes too. I would guess if I had to, the others might be known to you. And the third hero is extremely broken. I'm not joking. I think I know who it is. Yeah, I'm actually not under joking because he's actually is a rule breaking thing. Um now, finally let me be. Here hereby do my sworn duty. There from it from it me it parts. Here heroes, a pure heart. Is that a pure heart? You got a pure heart. Where does the pure heart come from? Well, pure is heart it, is actually you need a heart from a person because that would be very scary. Uh no, the pure heart was is an artificial um heart made by love and by an item called the purity heart was split into seven parts and then it was uh, split to the uh, in, to the ancient ancestors. Yeah. Alright. Um, Black Count Black's servant Mimi had laid a nasty trap for Mario and friends. But with the help of Merle, faithful defender of the pure heart, the day was won. But who were the other two heroes mentioned by Merle? With five pure hearts yet to be found, Mario knew this adventure had only begun. It had only begun? In fact, uh, I will of course end this video when we're going... Um, uh, how much minutes has been passed? Uh, 28 now, man. 28? I guess, yeah. I guess we're gonna meet the third hero today. Yeah. Today? Yeah, I will not stop until we've met the third hero. Is that right? Oh my god. And that's actually pretty quick, actually, because the ne very next chapter uh, actually has that third hero in it. In fact, the next, uh, the next chapter is focused entirely on that uh, on that specific character, yeah. So I got, just got a brief memo from Mimi. It says I messed up bad. That's the message in this entirely. Yeah. <laughs> See. <laughs> Was it a better black? <laughs> no. Sorry, I'm trying. She failed to press in, even with my gift of power. A light prognostic hero, the sense of the ancient tribe. Their strength grows. John Black! He doesn't know which one it was. I beg ye, give me the honor of wailing on the big old namely families. I swear me whiskey that I clap on like naughty little gerbils. I will. Naughty little butts, you say? Ugh. Oh, so in Changsha, you think you're all set to go? So I guess you finish up that report on that your own in the. in. Adequacy that I needed. And you see, I just got a wee bit left. I'm working on the conclusion. 
You gotta give me a break. Me writing takes time less, and 1,000 pages be a lot. Oh, Chuck. Be careful. Calm yourself. Take a minion time out. Count Black will sense. Dementio, come to me. To Count Black. And so I arrive, like a sudden windstorm, and I begin to call them panic. Blech. <laughs> you like some playtime, I imagine, Dementio. So you shall have it. But do not disappoint Count Black. This past is hero. Your wish is my command. Besides, this fool sounds like an amusing challenge. Now if there's nothing else, I will be on my way. Ciao, my count. Yeah, so Chunks, can you fill me in on why you're still network writing on that report? A report? What are you? Oh yeah, alright. I'm going to eat great bird tweaker. Then we can make any sense. Count Black, let me just bring you up to speed on the current state of the castle. I still have to root out a few uncovered rogues, but I will pull back soon. Heroes trying to save these pathetic old, old, old worlds. Black! Sad scum Black. Black! <laughs> Their efforts are in vain. No one! Can stop Count Black. Except for Mario and his friends. <laughs> Just as no one can ease the tempest that rages in my suffering heart. Oh, that's got deep. Oh, my head. Hey, where am I? Oh, yeah, now I'm. I was taking Princess Peach, but I messed it up and. You away, Green? Yeah, hey there, uh, bad guys. You doing alright? Yeah, we're doing okay. Good to see you made it. Figured he was done. Dude is looking tougher than he looks. So, yeah, kinda awkward. Say, have you seen the princess and Bowser? Nope, not so much. You're the only one we find lying around here. Hopefully, they're both okay. Then look at this moron. Who cares about his friends? Bowser is not his friend! Nope. Near as you can figure, most of the other minions got captured or something. And we're probably next. Why does this feel so calm? We're behind enemy, enemy lines. So, Luigi, old buddy, what do you think about getting out of here? We're thinking about maybe you open a path for us and we're all build, what you think? No, I, I couldn't. I've got to save the princess. Man, wow, did not expect that. All those stories about Great Luigi's daring exploits. We heard you were the defender of the helpless. We have no one else. The g Great Luigi, you say? A, a daring def defender? Me? Then I've got no choice. Luigi must spring to action. My fans need me. Oh, you are the best! Man, that was way too easy. What a sucker! We're right behind you, but the second the, the going gets rough, we bail. Then follow me, braver Goombas. Here we go! Okie dokie. <laughs> Adventure time. In Count Black's castle, and of course those Goombas were supposed to be leading, but they're too slow. <laughs> Well, okay, this is actually a lot easier than we, this is actually a, a lot quicker than normally, because if you go right here to the end of the castle, um, literally it's a safe path, you basically are able to get to deal with that. I need to remember where the red thing is. Okay, it's kind of obvious at this point. I don't know where it is located now. Alright, so now at the, at the main hall of the, uh, of the complex castle, and we should near its end because this is a long hallway. I thought that was a short hallway. Well, it's going on forever. Hey, Luigi, wait for us! No! Uh oh, looks like the end of the line here. Oh my god, don't make fun. <laughs> oh boy, look back your right. Now, what do we do? Uh, shouldn't we look for another way out, maybe? This guy's useless. 
If we stay put, somebody is going to going to spot. Go do it. Hill Black. Gary, no. Not Gary. <laughs> I've been looking all over for you. You. Yeah, you're the guy who really wasn't a team player back at the wedding. You're going to need a little discipline action, I think. So let's get started, hmm? Oh man, poor Gary. Alright, it's time for me to goom up. Hey lady, got room for one more on your team? What? Hey, wait a second, what are you doing? What does it look like, genius? I'm getting with the winning team. Yeah, good call. Love the enthusiasm there. Go ahead and swear you know undying loyalty to the Count. Thank you on board. Hey, come me in, lady. Here we go, Count. Here we go. Love that Count. Count. He means Count Black. You. You dirty traitor. Okay, guys, new agenda. Hold this fool down so it can get his priorities on track. Yes, ma'am. Ah, whoa, hey, no, Mario, where are you? Help! He can't do anything on his own now, can he? Nope. You're late. Did something happen? Yes, my father caught me sneaking out of the castle. Wasn't easy after that. As words, you wouldn't come. You are a strange girl. You know what I am, and yet you do not seem afraid. I don't care what you are. I just want to see you. Is that, is that so wrong? No, oh, no, of course not. I wanted to see you too. Lumiere, do you mind if I sit next to you? Please do, Timpani. Let's return to our conversation. I must know more of you. Lumiere and Timpani. Mm. Oh ho, welcome back, friends. How was your journey this time? Did you find Merli and obtain the pure hearts? Yes, as a matter of fact, we did. Merli said we would need the power of four heroes to save the world. Yes, Merli said that. Oh ho, is it so? There's more than one hero. Well, if Mario and Peach are two such heroes, then you still need two more. Look, over there. The void has grown. Hmm. I feel that time goes short, dear friend. I return to the life of Nausicaa's you young ones. Seek the next heart pillar. But first, allow me to tell you something that mystical book has already divulged to me. One person will determine whether the light or dark Nausicaa's predicts truly. Bo refers to him as the man in green, but I know not what this means. I must return to my study to solve this conundrum. I'm pretty sure you know which man of green is, is that they're talking about. It's Bowser. How's it? No, it means a, 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 a man in green. I don't think it means the Koopa standards. <laughs> According to the internet, Bowser is a man. But yeah. you don't want to go on that side. Yeah, but I don't think that he. I'm pretty sure they meant to be of Luigi. Because he's clad in all green and Bowser is more orange. What, what if it's. What if it's. What if it's. Um. A Link. It's Link, okay? Link is not in the game. There, there, was, there was a Zelda reference which I've already seen, Rubies. Yeah, it was supposed to be a reference of Rubies, of. Uh, of. Uh, this I read rupees in uh, from Zelda. That was supposed to be a reference. Okay. Yeah. So love you Zelda. Love you Zelda because they're pioneers. They cramming uh, all kinds of references right here and there. Uh, I love me some Zelda. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. The most recent one I remember. Yeah. You cannot go in here until you have a um, boomer. Yeah. They require to have boomer for this moment. There we go. There were four blocks in total, but going to 2D is a lot more helpful because it's just you have to deal with these guys too. Oh, what? Also, the mini spoilings, and they're both dead. All three of them, huh? No. There's a pipe there, which actually is the basement, but if you go right here, 
And no, I don't want to throw in Boomer. Lucky I'm invincible to the explosion. Uh, okay. So there we go. Let's uh, get uh, Pure Heart in the, in the pencil. See what's in that uh, thing. Because I'm pretty sure if I do that, I unlock a, uh, another path. Because uh, I want to... That way I can create a shortcut for later. But maybe not because of the... I believe that's also the path to the Pit of 100 Shrouds, which I will do after this chapter, in fact. Yes, I'm suicidal. You are, Harry. Yeah, but then again, we, the, basically this entire chapter gives you the the most broken thing in the entire game, and you want and if you want to train on that, and know how broken that truly is, you basically need to go into that chapter alone, and then you're able to do it immediately. And the but the reward is pretty good. Okay, yeah, I was right. I'm not going there. No, not there yet. Uh, I'm not going to the pit of 100 trolls yet. So I'm going to go to return fight and start immediately in uh, chapter three. How much minutes has been passed? Uh, 41. 41. The, um, the chapter is pretty short if you know what you're doing. There is a boss fight, but that's not much importance. Alright, let's go. Uh, Mario and his new friends open the doors, unsure of what they would find. All the while, Murdy's words about finding the other two heroes rang their minds. Were these other two other heroes somewhere in this world? If not, where? Meanwhile, the creeping void grew large in the skies above cliff sides. The hopes of all worlds resting on the heroes, find the next few hearts, and the next two heroes. Chapter 3-1 When Geeks Attack Okay. This is supposed to be really great for all classic fans, because this is supposed to be referenced to 8-bit places. Yeah, this is an 8-bit uh, graphic world. 8-bit uh, looks good. Yeah. So this is where that door leads. I suppose the next few heart must be nearby. That's odd. I can feel nearby, but where can it be? Well, I'm back! <laughs> I said to go, I got a super rare Monopix little butterfly. My friends at Digibon are there. I'm going to freak when they get word of this find. I must bring it home. I can't re miss this week's episode of the Grotus Chronicles. I wonder what they're referencing. No way am I going to entrust my digital recording meow to tape on episode so epic. It's so high technical. So how did you like that? <laughs> I, I liked it a lot. Whoa, a kidnapping! Oh, the despair, the awful spectacle of it all. The shocking scene occurred right before my very own tender eyes. Well, I guess it came over for that thing, so now that that big Francis guy's got her. Whoa! I love how it's called the Fifth Land. Yeah. Who is this guy? A friend of the butterfly girl that got that, that napped? No, oh, that's pity. That kid got that grafter. Francis, basically the nerd of the end all nerds. Plus he's got this thing for butterflies and well, all things nerdy too. If he gets his sweaty mitts on something he likes, there's no getting it back. He collects stuff and keeps it in this big fantasy fortress. It's like a big paradise. Well, now, you want to know where Fort Francis is? Well, if you go all the way down for for miles, you find it. You're not thinking of infilling the nerd liar and rescuing her, are you? Look, nobody likes having their butterfly kidnapped by a geek, but it's dangerous. Still, so them says, well, they tend a moment. I think I got something in my eye here. Listen, let me give you some travel tips. You listen? Good. All I got is three critical tips, so remember all of them. It's pretty easy. Here's your first tip. A bunch of no-class jerks are holed up in this castle up ahead, which is our main focus in the episode. It ain't been easy getting past them, but here's the juice. It's an old castle. You do your thing with that red X mark and maybe something will happen for you. Now for your second tip. If you stumble past those clouds in the castle, you will see an ocean, but can't miss it. A scary sea monster lives there. The beast is huge and cranky. 
basically. So, but if you toast its red flipper thing, something good is bound to happen. And here's the last tip. Once you swim your way through the, that, um, that ocean, you will see a humongous tree. There's a huge gorge on the other side, there's no jumping across it. Look for the red wind, and you do something with it. You, you can get, get across. To get all that, good. You be careful now. It's... If you... Okay, by some crazy challenge you do save the Come back in time when you did. Okay, if this is the, the reason of all the... Um, this, the puzzle of that is actually pretty easy. It's actually the easiest thing in the world. In fact, look at the Koopas here. They are completely different. They don't have their glasses on. So they're actual good Koopas? They're good Koopas, but they are serving a different kind of cool ear. And if you want to do a super easy way, because there is literally no way there is, there are some secret things, but you don't need to worry about that. Uh, need to go down here. These two red pipes, yes, get the joke, there's, red, there's a lot of things with red. Um, if I can... Oh, no. Okay, anyways, these are dark Goombas. Basically, they're basically just simply Goombas that lives on the ground. I'm not going to do the pal pills because of uh, reasons. Can I play, why can I not... Um, Oh, this is just one of one two from oh. the original Mario. Oh, and now I forgot. Oh, now I remember why I could not do that. Because TP has been taken. I've got TP has been taken. My uh, my bad. Yeah, dog Goombas suck. <laughs> Um, if you want to know a secret and a sh an amazing shortcut, that's why I meant if you know what you need, what, if you know what you're doing, it's an easy stage. Um, these girders, um, they lead to secret places, if you remember, that's a kind of black, uh, red Koopa. If you go all the way across, you will of course get these things. Um, I think you need to first find for a shortcut. Hmm. Uh, no, this leads to a secret place. Um, like all things, simply, um, do this and you're able to get all this. A lot of coins and a secret. Simply getting. What is the secret? Magic Koopa! I forgot, yeah, when you forget things, that's not very, not very, not very nice. Okay, let's go up. Uh, let me see, I remember that one of the pipes is basically leads towards the location. And I think this should be it. Okay, right? Yes, I am not right. This leads to that location where I don't want to go. No, of course you're not right, you're left. You're left handed. Yeah, I need to go see him to go in the middle path because that's the location towards the big guy. Yeah, here it is, because there's a safe album right there. And if you go across, you see these new enemies called the Suck. The, I don't remember the name, but they are supposed to be a uh, Suck like people. Um, as they throw the shells down, they make the fancy throw shell like a thing. And we're going to have a mini boss. Huh. Mini boss? Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, you, this is Bowser's castle, and his brilliantness doesn't like chumps like you geeking up the place. You're about to get a compliment nose job, courtesy of my shell. Come on out, fellas. We have to deal with the Koopa Troop. Yeah! Come on, get some. If it's obvious already, this is Bowser's castle. Obviously referencing that Bowser is located here somewhere. And... This is actually pretty good because Bowser is literally one is actually a character that I was waiting for a long time. A lot of new enemies, but I cannot buy them because of the Mr. Uh, because Mr. Francis took uh, TP, and of course Hammer Bros are quite a lot of assholes. Um, here's that fork that uh, Pixel was uh, talking about. Red X, you explode it. It was an old castle, eh? Oh yeah. Yo! Look who it is! Roar! Please, tell me someone didn't just blow up my awesome lair. Someone just blew up your awesome lair. Hey! I know that stash from somewhere. Mario and Princess Peach. Why do you always have to do that? That's like the 100th time you've shown up at my castle and screwed everything up! Roared! Oh, 
Mario vs. Bowser. A classic battle. But now, you've entered the fortress of pain, Mario. No more sequels. For all much. It's going to end right here, right now, once and for all. Bowser, 20 HP and a defense point and a lot of attack. He's unique. Don't jump on him. He's a spike enemy for the entire match. Also, this music is... Don't you see the spikes? I yeah. mean, duh. <laughs> yeah, you need to throw bombs on him and he's basically able to down four hits. Also, this music is amazing. Bowser jumps on, tries to jump on you, and he uses his amazing fire breath. He basically is how he was in the original, uh, original, and his flame breath is long and powerful. So be careful. This music is basically based off uh, Super Mario World, um, Super Mario World, uh, World 8. Yeah, a nice remix too, a nice guitar remix of that. No, I hate Mario. It's it's not fair. Mario! Are you okay? Ah, Princess Peach! My lovely wife! Your wife? What? Are you kidding me? How could you forget our big day? That sham was on the wedding! What are you doing here anyway, Bowser? How should I know? I was locked up in Count Black's stupid castle. When all of a sudden, BAM! Me and my minions wake up, face down in this field. Getting me found this awesome castle in my front for myself. Why not make myself a lair? Well, you see, Bowser, we really need your help. Why don't you come with us? Wait, what? Yes? Yep, they're not joking. Black of God is married just to make a chaos heart so that he can destroy the world. Yes, and that is why we need you to find us the pure hearts. No, I don't want it. I will think about it if it was for you, but there's no way I'm helping Mario. We don't have time for you to be a big baby about this. Come on, Bowser, please. But, but I'm Bowser! Can anybody most awesome line in this entire game? I'm great A, 100% fine got final boss! I'm going to take over the world any day now! Great A, 100% fine cut final boss! <laughs> Bowser, you're amazing! Your writing is always the best! No, it's not. No way am I helping Mario, he's always trashing my awesome plans. Please, for me? No, I don't wanna. I refuse. What you say? If the world ends, there's not gonna be any world for me to rule? And what will happen to your poor minions who was caught by Count Black? They've been brainwashed, and I do his evil bidding and not your evil bidding. Now your minions will have to toil under a different, cruel, and merciless master. But, but, why you? Sword! Mm. Fine, I'll join your stupid crash, you happy? Oh, thank you, Bowser, you're so sweet. Uh, no, I'm not sweet. And I'm not helping Mario just to save a bunch of worlds. I'm only doing it so I can rule someday. So they can cut it with me, Mario. Alright, Bowser, you big sweetie. Bowser, join our party. The most bro the most broken character in this game. Yes, this push-up of a boss is the most broken character in this entire game. How is he broken? When he controlling Bowser... Out. Well, when controlling Bowser, press down on the Wii remote to refire on your enemies. His breath is corrosion, so use it to drop any enemy that stands in your way. Lord Bowser! Your grabbiness, are you leaving us? What? Oh yeah, minions hold down the fort until I return. Your lair is safe with us, sir. Oh, sir, it seems that Count Black has brainwashed some of your loyal hands people. They're probably going to be forced to attack you, so feel free to dole out punishment. 
Of course, I'd love to come along and defend you, but you know we're just getting in the way of your heinousness. Come on, kind for us. Yeah, anywhere the cape and the monocle is just begging for a beating. Long live King Bowser! We'll miss you, your silliness party! Oh, you guys. Fine, come on. Get, let's get your stupid precious hearts. Or whatever you call it. I said move it! Bowser! Um, fun fact. Bowser is slow. That's the only thing that was only making him, is the only bad thing, and it gets removed in the, in the later chapter. Um, his brain breath is pretty strong. And also, his jumping, it may be a little quirky, but what makes all up for it, he does double damage. Jesus, he's too yeah. strong. Yeah, he is basically supposed to be your main attacker, and Bowser is supposed, and Bowser is literally just that. When you have Bowser, you have no reason to play as any other character unless for puzzles and platforming for Peach. Yeah, Bowser is that good. And we'll see you tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, next time, we'll see how good Bowser is in combat. We'll see him for a test drive. For the next one, is considered one of the most many people's favorite chapters, because Bowser has a running joke in this game. See you guys next time, for when oh, we... No running jokes. End of chapter. See you guys next time. Bye.